Hi friends, it's Shannon and I'm back with another video. This one actually isn't an unboxing, which is what I typically film. This one is a, um, a video about regrets, if you will. I went through my closet recently and pulled out seven things that I have purchased in the last year, usually like thrifting or on sale, that I thought would be great and I just have not worn. Um, so I'm gonna show them to you. We're gonna see if we can resuscitate these, if we can make these work, or if we need to just acknowledge defeat and redonate them. So so first item I bought that I pulled was this blouse from Banana Republic. I believe I thrifted this for a couple dollars like at Goodwill. It's a royal blue. I like the color. It's got a lot of beautiful lace detail on it. But for some reason, I just didn't find myself pulling for this. I don't know if it's just like maybe it's a little too old lady. Uh, I'm not sure what the issue was with this. It's sort of like a little fancy for work maybe, but a little too marmish for going out. Anyway, I bought this. It fits really nice. It's very, you know, nice quality, but I never wore it. So this is my first sort of potentially regret piece. So we'll see if we can make this look cute. Next item actually was a place I think we often make mistakes, the Kohl's clearance rack. So Kohl's had one of those like amazing sales where like there were a bunch of items for under $5. One of the pieces I pulled uh, was this Jennifer Lopez sort of tie-dye inspired sweater. So this actually is a, a knit sweater material. Um, I bought it at XL, so it's nice and oversized. Um, you know, I like the idea of it, but I'm just not, I don't know, is tie-dye a good idea for the over 40 set? I mean, I think it's a really cute trend, but I also acknowledge there are limitations to trends, especially when you're you're not a spring chicken. All right, so I, uh, next item, I think, okay. Um, anytime I find a cute dress that fits, I often buy it, even if it turns out to be a total mistake. So here's an example. This this was a definitely a Goodwill buy. I think this was like $5.99 or $4.99. Um, it is a lace fit and flare dress. I thought I'd wear it for a date night, but then I always tend to have a dress that I like a little bit better than this. So I'm wondering if maybe if I pop a cardigan over it, if maybe I can wear it a few times, or maybe it's time just to set this free. So we will try this too. All right, next item. I remember when I bought this, I bought this little blouse last summer. This is apartment nine, which is Kohl's. This was, I bought it at a thrift store, I think for like $2. Again, I like the royal blue. It has like this kind of gold or brass hardware. I have several shirts with this little zipper front, which I like. Um, this just seems like a really cute work blouse. It's got a little lattice detail on the back. I never wore it. And I have to be honest with you, I bought this with my mom. And my mom wanted it, and I think because she wanted it, then I wasn't gonna give it away. No, I'm keeping it. Um, and then I never wore it. So let's figure out if we can make this cute or if this needs to go to mom. All right. Next item I actually bought new with tags and I have not worn yet. This is a little floral turtleneck that I picked up at H&M. I think it was like $10. I like it because it's nice and thin. I do like florals. Um, I thought I could pull this off, um, but I don't know. Like, I think the fact that it's got this brown background, even though I like the floral, I think it looks kind of like an old lady cushion. And then obviously this neck is more turtle than cow and I like a little bit of a looser. So I haven't worn this. Um, but so let's see if we can style this in a way that, you know, might be worth keeping. Okay, two more items, guys. Next one is another dress, another one of those fit and flare dresses. This is just a little burgundy dress. It's got sort of the sheer dotted fabric at the top, fit and flare at the bottom. This is by Torrid. And I actually look here, there's still the tag on it. Apparently it was $8.99. Um, I thought this would be a cute date night dress. I'm not, well, to be fair here, we have not been doing a lot of date nights. So that is probably one of the reasons these dresses have languished. But I'm wondering if this is worth keeping, if we can make this work. I think part of it is this top is really cute, sort of the sweetheart neckline but it almost feels a little costumey, right? Like, like I'm going to some like 40s dance. So um, I'm wondering if that's the issue here. But so this is another item. Last item is this Jones New York black dress. Um, it's got three quarter length sleeve. It's got really cute gold hardware. It was new with tags. I think it was 1150 at Savers and I think I had a coupon. So I think I paid under $10. And I remember when I got this, I was like, oh, this is gonna be amazing work dress, so cute. I love that it had sleeves, right? Um, these cute little buttons. But when I tried it on, 
I realized I looked like a flight attendant. This just has a strong flight attendant vibe. Nothing wrong with that. It's a great profession, but I'm not a flight attendant. I don't even work in travel. So um, I just haven't figured out a way to make this work. So this is the last item that I pulled from my closet that either we're gonna resuscitate today with some cute stylings, or we are going to set this piece free and re-donate it and hopefully somebody else can find joy from it. Anyway, stay tuned. All right, I am back with this first piece, this Banana Republic blouse, and I actually remember why I bought this when I tried it on. I actually think this is really cute and I think it's a keeper. First of all, it fits me really well. Um, also, I think it's very pretty and I actually like the higher neckline for work. So I just paired it here with um, kind of a, a black, fit and flare skirt, which I have to confess feels a little tight right now. I don't know about you guys, but I'm so bad about getting my steps in in the winter. Um, so I definitely gotta be working on that, right? Especially before spring comes. But anyway, I think this ball is cute. I think I should definitely try to work this into my spring and summer rotation. I also really like this dark, you know, royal blue jewel tone. I think it's really pretty. So I think this is a keeper. I think I just have not gotten to it, but I'm going to get to this. So first shirt, I think we'll say. Okay, the next item uh, is this Apartment 9, which is Cole's brand, little short sleeve blouse. Here, I actually kept the same black skirt, but you could wear black skirt or pants with this, and then I'm wearing it with this little sort of velvet jacket that I actually also thrifted. I actually, um, again, trying this back on, I realized, oh wait, this was cute. I remember why I like this. I like, um, it's like, got a lot of nice drape, but it still seems to sort of flatter the figure. I actually do like these little zippers, because you can kind of play with them, right? You can go up or down a little bit. So here I am wearing it with a little jacket, which I think is cute, but you also can, you know, I definitely can see myself like wearing this, uh, like with a little jean skirt or jeans, you know, and sandals or flats or something more casual. That said, this is royal blue and the other shirt's royal blue. And I think um, if I don't wear this the next by the next time I see my mom, I will give it to her. Because even though I do like it, I do think, you know, they are sort of similar in terms of short sleeve blue work wear. So maybe that's part of the problem is they're just too similar. But this actually feels really nice and comfortable too. And I definitely could see myself liking the weight of this in the summer. So yeah, so this is a, a maybe, right? Or keep till we see mom. So here is that nine West black work dress that I was super excited about. And then I tried it on and I realized I look like I work for Delta. Um, <laughs> it's actually a very nice quality dress and I think it's really, you know, well done. And I actually think it's pretty flattering. It's just, I can't get away from that flight attendant vibe. Okay, here's the last Hail Mary with this dress. This is this cute little floral detail cardigan with this black dress. What do you guys think? I think this is the best option that I found. Um, still not loving it, but I feel like, you know, maybe I'll wear it once or twice before I, I re-donate it just so I don't have to feel bad <laughs> about wasting. Um, but yeah, sometimes things just don't work out. All right, now we have this little red lace dress. I threw a cardigan over because I was thinking, well, maybe I could just wear it as sort of a casual dressy day, right? Where you're just like dressing up a little bit for just the average work day. You know, I think it's pretty. I love the idea of this, but it just seems a little like, gir like too girlish, right? So... I think I might end up getting rid of this. Even though I love the idea of this red lace, I just, I don't know, what do you guys think? Does it feel, does it feel too young? Like I said, I'm just putting it here with this little white cardigan. Um, it actually even has a tie at the waist, which even makes it feel even more young, right? And then here, if I take off the sweater, it's like this. I think the other issue with this is, that, like I said, it's pretty, but I don't think it's a dress my husband would like. And so, you know, when you go on date night, you try to pick things that your husband likes, right? And I just think he would view this as sort of a kitschy, costumey thing that I had picked up at the thrift store, which it is. So even though I like the idea of this, I think this is gonna have to, this is gonna have to go to somebody else who will look better and enjoy it more. So here's this next item. This is this cute little burgundy dress that was from, originally from Tor that I thrifted from Goodwill, I think for $8.99 or maybe a little less. So here I paired it with a dark wash denim jacket, which I believe is from White House Black Market, which I got in the thread up box. Um, I actually like this dress. This is also kind of young and playful, but I think the burgundy color versus that bright red 
uh, makes it a little bit more age appropriate. I also sort of like it with this little jacket because it makes it look like I'm wearing a strapless dress, which I, I don't think I've ever worn a strapless dress in my life. So, um, except maybe for my wedding. So I think this is sort of cute with this little jacket and it sort of makes it seem a little more casual. So actually I'm sort of looking forward to wearing this now. At first I thought I was gonna get rid of it, but I think with the little denim jacket, it kind of edges it up, makes it cute. And I definitely could see wearing this for like a spring or summer date night. So here's that H&M floral turtleneck. This actually is a super nice lightweight fabric. Um, it feels really comfy, but it's a no. I wasn't able to try it on because you know, we're during COVID. So I bought it just so I don't need for like 10 bucks. And I thought I was gonna like it and I don't. I don't like this neckline. I'm never gonna like this neckline. This neckline paired with this floral is just not good. So I think this is gonna have to go. Um, yeah, oh well. Last item is this Kohl's clearance rack, Jennifer Lopez tie-dye inspired sweater. You know, actually, I think this is cute. I mean, I would not wear it for work, but I, you know, with jeans or leggings on a weekend, I think it's fine. I wish it was a little softer. It'd probably be better if it's more of a sweatshirt than a sweater, you know, but it's not bad. I don't, I think by next season, this will be out of my wardrobe, but maybe a couple more times this winter, especially, you know, when you're just getting cozy with leggings and hanging out at home. So I do like the drop sleeves and I do like the V-neck and I think the colors are pretty. So, you know, not bad. So those are my seven mistakes, we'll say. I think two are definitely going. And I think there's a couple kind of teetering on the edge. If I don't wear them in the next couple weeks, it'll be out. Anyway, give me your thoughts. Which pieces did you like? Which pieces do you think definitely need to go into the recycle or donate bin? Thank you for watching. Bye.